Right? That's what he tweeted to this deal. He shows the deal. Now, I simply responded and said, if this is the best in the show, I'm glad I skipped this one. It's shit. And I stand by that. It is shit. I haven't watched the show, but based on what I'm seeing here, it is choreographed as f You can tell that they're acting, which FYI, you shouldn't be able to do when you're watching something. You should not be able to say, oh, clearly acting. You can see how it's being plotted, right? You can, and it might not be due to acting. It might not even be due to choreography. It could be due to camera work. Whoever the director was here didn't have the fucking foresight to think, wait, I should kind of manipulate it to make it look a lot more impactful. Because here, it doesn't look like there's any power behind any of the shots. They stop at times and you can see that they're stopping because that's where they're supposed to stop. And you can cheat that with the art of cinema. You can actually cheat that and you can make it seem a lot more real. I just thought that this fighting scene was really, 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 really fucking bad, right? It, I, you could see that they were acting. People unfollowed. Genuinely, I had people unfollow because how dare I say something bad about Ashoka or whatever the fuck it is. That is the world we live in right now. And that is the world that people cater to right now. Because the vast majority of companies, the vast majority of, of film producers and game producers and shit of that nature, they get their news and their worldview from Twitter. It looks like rehearsal for the real fight. There were much better fights a couple of episodes earlier. I have no doubt that maybe there were some incredible fights in this series. Star Wars in general, no matter what you want to say about the writing, even the new Star Wars movies, but I don't like calling them Star Wars movies, but let's, let's just for sake of not confusing it, had some pretty cool fight scenes. Apart from everything else, right? The story was garbage and Rey is garbage. But the fight scenes, there were some really cool fight scenes. Uh, I would make the same claim about the first six Star Wars movies. The story in the first six Star Wars movies, absolutely incredible. Some of those fight scenes, really bad. Right? So all I was arguing here was that this particular fight scene, if it is indeed the best in the fucking show, it's shit. Right? Based on the fact that I've never fucking watched the show, this is the only reference I have for it. Maybe there's better ones. There are people that have no ability to listen to that. They can't listen to it. How dare you say that? That is the world we currently live in. Do you blame companies for not having a fucking clue what to do? John, I, I don't think it's fair to compare it to John Wick choreography. Because the truth is, John Wick choreography has always been absolutely phenomenal. I don't, I don't think you can really compare any, like, or few. Matrix could probably be also, because the choreography there was also next level. And it may just be because Keanu Reeves is actually, like, he actually trains that shit. Like, he goes with live ammunition, live guns, and he fucking trains how to do all of that shit constantly to learn how to do it right. I know, uh... I watched the documentary where they spoke to Henry Cavill about that first fight scene in The Witcher, the series. Did they, they choreographed that entire series so many times to get it perfect. He actually went for sword lessons, like learning how to fight with a sword so that he could can pull it off. Hey, Barry, training. I don't know if I've seen that apocalypse. They did that for the prequel trilogy too, if I remember right. They may have. By the way, he paid for those himself. Stupid showrunners didn't think it was necessary. Yeah, because they're morons. You see, the Witcher showrunners don't think that there should be war in the Witcher, I think. I can't wait. Dude, fuck. 
What did I see again? I need to see. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is this is. So, Games Radar uh, said The Witcher season four could be the show's best yet, even without Henry Cavill. And I really thought that this gift was apt, in my opinion. I don't believe it. I do not believe that after the absolute fucking train wreck of season two and season three, season four is somehow without Henry Cavill going to come out as, as better. And what do we learn? It's in the hands of the actors. When the directors pick stupid actors with no interest in the world behind the fantasy movie, then you have a bland movie. Absolutely agree. 130. Oh, yeah, I, I remember watching this. This is how Keanu Reeves trained for uh, the John Wick movie. That's what you need, right? That's what you need. You need fucking actors to actually train in order to sell things convincingly. Season 4 isn't going to be better. The reason Henry wanted the role was because of how much he loved the book series and the games, etc. Sasha, I absolutely agree with you. The reason he left is because he realized that he loves the universe far more than the fucking showrunners do. Dude, Keanu Reeves is a legend he is a treasure is he got true the problem with um especially like for example gun scenes or fight scenes sword scenes unless you know how to sword fight unless you know how to shoot a gun you're not going to be convincing because there's certain ways in which you can handle a gun that will work and there's certain ways in which anyone that knows fucking anything will go yeah, that, it's not going to work right uh, the same with sword fighting you need to understand the balance of things you need to understand how do you thrust how do you swing how do you do all these if you don't know these things you're going to look like someone who was literally just you know coached and that never looks good. Badass, because the stunt actors in the suits are convincing. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> Power Rangers, holy shit. <laughs> I, I don't think we should, like, compare Power Rangers to classics like John Wick and, you know, Witcher Season 1. I, I get what you're saying, but maybe Power Rangers isn't quite on the same level here. Henry didn't even want to do the season three. They offered him a shit ton of money for season three. Well, we already know that Henry Cavill has a much better opportunity waiting for him just around the corner. Because basically Games Workshop gave Henry Cavill the keys to the fucking kingdom. He, he's allowed to make Warhammer 40k live action and he is in control of everything. He said from the beginning, the only way I will do a Warhammer 40k movie is if I control the movie. I want to know what the script is. I want to get the script writers. I want to make sure what the story is. I want to choose the actors. I will make those decisions. I will not trust anyone else to do it. What do you want to bet when that movie finally comes out? blows the box office off. 